Hi there. Today we're going to talk about flushing your tankless hot water heaters. Tankless hot water heaters are fantastic, but they do need to be maintained. Sediment can build up inside of your tankless hot water heater, build up at the bottom, and it could be very corrosive to the inside of the tank. Depending on where you live, the hardness of the water will affect how often you need to flush your tankless hot water heater. In areas with really hard water, it should be done about once every 12 to 18 months. And in areas with softer water, it could be done less so. But no matter where you live, they do need to be maintained. So today we're going to show you the process. To start the whole process, first we have to disconnect the power line, electric power, and the gas, shut off the gas valve. So then, then you have to shut off uh, the isolation valves, hot ones and cold ones. You have to remove the, sir the caps from the service valves, cold side, and the cap from the service valve, hot side. After that we have to connect the, the water hoses to the cold service outlet. connect the other hose to the hot outlet. For this scaling agent we need about 2 gallons of water. Before you place the pump into the bucket you have to mix the, the, the scaling agent into the water. After you mix the, the, the scaling agent you have to connect the cold water inlet hose to the pump, to the, to the water pump. Okay, connect it and keep the hot water outlet into the bucket. Mm -hmm. After all the hose is connected, you have to turn on the cold water service valve and turn on the hot water service valve. Cold and hot water service valve are open, you can connect the pump. 30 to 45 minutes. So after 30 45 minutes, uh, we have to flush through the system with clean water. For that, we have to close the cold service pipe and open isolation valve, cold isolation valve. We have to flush the system about 30 seconds to clean out all the residue and the, the the descaling agent of the system. Pump into the bucket and of two gallons water. You have to mix the descaling agent or pour the descaling agent into the water. You're gonna flush through the system with the descaling agent 30 to 45 minutes. So after 30 to 45 minutes, uh, we have to flush through the system with clean water. For that, we have to close the cold service pipe and open. Mm -hmm. Isolation valve, cold isolation valve. To clean out all the residue and the the, the descaling agent of the system. After flushing through the system, you can close the hot service valve and removing all the pipes. After removing the pipes, you can replace the caps on the service valves. And to restart the system, we have to reconnect the electric line and open the gas valve. So, before you start the process, and if you're not familiar with the whole system, you can make a picture of the gas valve, the electrical connection, and all the isolation valves. To be sure, when you finish the, the descaling process, you can turn back the same way as it was. When you finish the maintenance work, you can put the date of the service on the service card to know when it was last serviced. 